Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well. Welcome to the show, the most innovative show on YouTube, <laughs> the most, the best variety show on YouTube. Welcome back, Lord of the Rings, Lord Famous Fortunes. No copyright intended, of course. Uh, Lord of the Crystals, Lord of the Gems, Lord of the Stones. Lord of the Rocks. <laughs> Today's episode is called Cooking with a Zempic. <laughs> this, this, this phrase was uttered in the comment section <laughs> recently. And I wrote it down because it's such a good title for a show. Uh, and uh, you know who you are. You know who you are. You fan of the show. You who's mentioned, who uttered these words in the comment section. I'm sure you'll be watching today after seeing this title. Uh, so I'll give you a like if you, if you jump in the comments, so I'll, I'll hit that heart button on your comment about the comment, uh, today's title. All right. So we all know who you are. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's look today. Now I had a look at these sort of these photos from the, from the show, the award show, the one with, you know, Venus sort of looking like she was pouting, you know, that, that, that one, you know what I'm saying? And, and Harry and, 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 and Megan wearing her wedding dress. <laughs> Yeah, have a look. She wore a wedding dress to the show. I couldn't even believe it. I couldn't believe it. She wore a wedding dress. Can you believe that? But I was actually kind of looking at her going, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Do we need to do a, like, another follow-up reading on this Ozempic use here? I was having a look. I don't know. Just something kind of hit me. Hit me a little bit. So we're going to read on that today. There, we have done a previous episode on this topic in a way, but it's not sort of an ongoing thing. Is she like still using it? Is she having trouble stopping? You know, I'm missing. Is it? I don't know how how it works. Is it addictive? I mean, we probably need to prescribe it for our comment section every now and again. But you know, all right, it's a diabetic thing apparently. It's a, for diabetes. It's for high sugars or something along those lines. For high sugars, but it just seems to be extremely effective for weight loss. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? Uh, so let's dive in to. Let's dive into the show and ask those questions. The interesting question is Meghan Markle a current user of Azempic? Cooking up, cooking up. It's hard to get. Maybe they've got a sort of an underground lab somewhere in, in the uh, in the chateau. Uh, an underground Azempic lab. You know, maybe they've got, you know, a small team working on there. You know, think Breaking Bad or something like that. Uh, just to keep the sort of the supply going. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> And these birds outside are going off. I don't know if you can hear that the whole show. I don't know what's going on out there. They are just absolutely firing up. All right, let's um, let's uh, let's have a look. Is she currently using a Zempic? Is Megan Markle currently smashing the Zempic back? Oh, what's this card? The star. Interesting. Uh, Cards are hot. Is she currently using a Zempic? We have the Prince of Wands, Harry. What? What? The Three of Cups. Oh, I see. Okay, Three of Cups. Another card, the Empress. Oh, the Empress. The, the oof, uh, who else here? The Four of Wands and the King of Cups. Six of Wands, underlying energy. It's okay. Is it is it not just her using it? Is it is it her mum and Harry are using it as well? What? What on earth? What on earth? Uh, yeah. Look at this sort of. This is for like award shows and you know sort of you know for appearances basically. That's kind of what the that's what that kind of a card is symbolizing with the six of wands appearances. So interesting. There's three of them here. Three of them. It's Harry. It's it's D Doria. I'm guessing as well here by the Mother Archetype showing up on the cards. The Mother Archetype. This King of Wands is an interesting card as well. Uh, here it, it speaks to sort of a, a, a you know experienced with it. You know that kind of energy, experienced and knowing sort of the ins and outs of it. So yeah, definitely cooking with Exempic. It's not just it. It looks to me like it's not just Harry. Excuse me, Megan using it. It looks a little bit like Harry as well has been on a bit of the Exempic. Interesting. Now I'm going to go back and have to look at his footage here. Just that I thought he was looking a little bit cut. Am I am I tripping out a little bit here? Yeah, he's looking pretty cut. And I don't know the the tailored suit and all the rest of it. 
but uh, he nearly he nearly um he nearly choked that woman in the red dress out. If you look at it from the side angle when he got up on stage, she, she nearly fell over. He, he he nearly fell into her arms like a you know like a bodyguard job. But all right, so it seems like there's a bit of an azempic. Um, what's the word? The, uh, let's say an azempic. Um, you know, enthusiasm going on. Enthusiasts, exempic enthusiasts at the at the 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 Ragland residence, the Raglands to Riches residence. You know, the Montecitos, the Raglands of Montecito. Uh, here, the Raglands of Montecito. Yeah, something along those lines. Uh, you know, I would say that this is bizarre. I didn't expect for one for one moment we would have seen a Harry and a Doria on the cards. So. This, they're all using it. Okay, so what, like, wow. Is this a, is this a sort of newfound passion for Zempic, you know, do they cycle it or is it something that they sort of, you know, are kind of hooked on? Let's have a look. Are they addicted to a Zempic? There's like, a, has it become an addiction? Now I'm sort of, now I really thought, I was joking before about the underground Zempic lab, right? But now I, I'm not so sure. <laughs> I'll have to ask where they get it from. But, uh, okay, are they addicted to a Zempic? Is there some type of, you know, you know, has it become more than just a, a thing, you know? Has it become a, you know, a bit of a problem? Let's ask. Are they addicted to a Zempic? Are they? I can't believe we're asking, are they, at this point? Are they addicted to a Zempic? I mean, it, I suppose the question is, is, is everyone in Hollywood addicted at this point? It's just made the news, you know? Cards are. It's probably the the biggest waste weight loss drug since cocaine, probably. Uh, <laughs> Prince of you know for Hollywood, right? Prince of Pentacles, um, the, the Judgment card, S slow supply though. Look at that supply problems. Three of coins. Oh, look at that. Dealing, dealing, dealers. The Temperance card. The Five of Wands. Oh, it's difficult to get. Very difficult to get your hands on some. The supply is few and far between. That underground lab is looking more and more likely by the minute here on Famous Fortunes. Uh, okay, so there's a lot of competition in the market to get their hands on it. So uh, it, it's, I guess what the tower is saying here is it's limiting their access to a Zempic. It's a probably, to, you know, that's what we, I'm asking. Is it sort of an addiction? It's sort of like a, it's extremely valuable stuff, folks. It's by the look of it. And it looks to me like they're get, you know, having a lot of trouble getting their hands on some here. I can't believe we're actually reading on this, but it's uh, cooking with a Zempic. Are there, yeah, I mean, are there a Zempic labs? Oh, that, would be, that would be difficult, I'd suppose. It'd be difficult. Um, but yeah, difficult. I need it. They have like a dealer almost with the three of coins. That's what the card is. It's like an intermediary. We'll ask who that is. Uh, few and far between it is to get. Um, slow supply is the first hint there that I got with the, the Prince of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and then a lot of competition. So high prices, I'd imagine, high pricing uh, for it with those kind of market dynamics. Market dynamics. Let's ask, who is their Azempic connection? Who is the Azempic connection? What a strange and wonderful topic today on Famous Fortunes. Who is their Azempic connection? Cards are hot. Who is it? Queen of Pentacles. Oh, that's a woman, is it? Uh, the Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Cups. Two, oh, two, two of them. Two of Coins and the Star. The Star, Nine of Wands. Okay, yeah, so there's a woman. Actually, it looks like there's two women that they have connections with to get this Ozempic. And it comes in when it comes in. <laughs> they get it when they get it, basically. It's difficult. It's difficult. I wonder how much does Ozempic cost on the black market? But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, okay, so this, this, now, yeah, I mean, pretty much, there's two, there's two, two connections they have 
here, two connections. Um, wow, amazing. So it looks like it's big, uh, big Bicky Swallow. Is it expensive to buy? Let's <laughs> is this Zempig expensive to buy? Let's have a look. What else could we ask about this topic? I'm going to think about this. Oh, didn't realize we we're going to end up here. What uh, is it expensive to buy? I mean, how much does an, a, an exempic cost for a, like a month or whatever? Let's have a look and see on the black market. It's interesting. I did read there was supply issues. So that reading kind of makes sense how it's coming in and out of supply. How much does a month of exempic cost? Kinds of hot. All right, five of wands. A lot of competition over those little pills um, and the pentacles. What next card? The death card. Yeah, not a good omen. Um, more the lovers and the ace of cups. Okay, so yeah, it's uh, we're not really getting an answer. We're just there's a huge amount of competition over those little pills. Huge amount. Huge amount. Large, very large competition. All right. So that's uh, extremely interesting. Uh, it makes me it makes me wonder just how many people in Hollywood are on it. I reckon there's loads, absolutely loads, loads, loads of them. Uh, wow. Have you look some photos of Harry now? I should put them up on screen. That's what I should do. Harry's uh, Harry's award winning speech, I guess, his Nobel Prize winning speech there. Um, and you gave at ESPN's Pat Tillman Award for Service. For Service. Oh, boy. Let's change tack a little bit here uh, on the show. What, what questions are you guys asking in the comments? Let's have a look. Comment section. Out of control or no? Are we good? Let's have a look. Yeah, has anyone noticed how Serena has changed physically and facially? Yeah, I mean, that's an interesting question in itself. I I actually think it was Venus, wasn't it? There was meant to, it was meant to be Venus there, not Serena. I, I, or both of them there. I, I, I don't know enough about it. But I did notice that uh, with the change of appearance was dramatic, uh, actually. So, yeah. Now, it's also being said in the comments... Samantha messaged a certain individual and said that she found out Harry filed for divorce a month ago. Yeah, that would fit exactly with the readings we had on this channel. Exactly with the readings. All right, so... Um, Janice says, Why do you people hate Harry and Meghan so much? Please help me to understand. We do royal readings on this channel. I don't know if anyone hates anyone. That's a bit extreme. But uh, the cards are the cards. Uh, you know, you can you can read the cards and interpret them yourself. You are welcome to do that on the show. You're welcome. We already played that game. I think someone someone accused me of cooking up cooking the books on the cards. We started reading the cards by the textbook definition, and then the, they never came back. I never heard from them again. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Do you want to play that game? We don't want to play that game right here. We already did that. We already did that. Okay. Now, I did hear, I did hear that uh, a rumor that Harry and Meghan came separately to the show. Did they come separately or, or together? Let's ask about that one. That's what I want to do while we're here. I think I'm, I'm a picked out actually, but let's ask. Did uh, did they arrive in, uh, separately to the, the the ESPN show? Cards are hot. Did they arrive separately? Can't see that card, not allowed. Nope, Ten of Wands. Three of Coins, Two of Cups, Two of Wands, Ten of Cups, and the Five of Swords, and Prince Harry. Right, so did they come together? I would say they came together with these energies. I mean, Two of Cups together, Two of Wands together. Uh, you know, maybe they had a, someone drive them, for sure. Uh this card's interesting. Do they have some difficulty getting there? And yeah, we should throw some cards on that. There could be some goss there. Uh, Harry here in the Five of Swords. Interesting to see Harry on the cards. What's this here? <coughs> Need some more tea. Oh boy. Let's um, 
Let's let's have a look at this situation. Was there some difficulty in them actually getting to the show? Was there a difficulty in them getting to the show? Somehow, some type of difficulty. I mean, it looked like they both came together, to be fair, so... But what was this goss? I'm hungry for goss today. That's what I'm hungry for. Does anyone have any good goss questions for the show? What was the difficulty in them coming? Okay, cards are hot. The Page of Swords. Six of Wands. This is this would be the show here. The Star. This would be the you know the big event. Four of Wands, like a home energy. Nine of Coins, someone getting ready, is it? Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> maybe it took a while for her to put her wedding dress on. In fact, we should read down that question. We're going to read that. Was that actually her wedding dress? Uh, because I, a lot of people believed it was. I had a look at the wedding dress and I could, uh, you know, over the photos. It looks very repurposed. I mean, that sounds, it's nice in a way, I suppose. Uh, but what would, what would the statement be trying to wear the wedding dress there? Is that a sort of a statement? Maybe we should look at that. Actually, let's do that. Let's do that. I think she was, she was too bit she was repurposing the wedding dress like scissors and whatever i reckon that's it for the nine of coins let's uh bear with my throat today i know what's going on I had some herbs before i don't mean that type of herbs that's i had a tonic before <laughs> i don't mean that folks i don't mean that that's... Oh, take it out of your like i had some tonics uh let's um have a look. I'm actually, I had some ginseng I bought a little while back and I need to soak it. I need, some, I need to get some brandy to soak it in. Uh, really some serious roots. I should show it in the next episode. Pretty cool. Um, I found some ginseng, a bottle of ginseng in the car the other day from a while back and it's still good, believe it or not. Uh, so let's, uh, let's have a look. Ginseng can be really spicy on the throat. And that's a good thing. Did Megan wear her wedding dress? I'm a big fan of American ginseng for all the Americans that watch the show. I'm a huge fan. I, I much prefer it to Asian ginseng. It's just the best ever. Cards are hot. I love it. In fact, I'd love to go looking for it. I'd love to. I'd go on a holiday just for ginseng in America, to be honest. Seven of Swords. Was it the wedding dress? Uh, eight of Cups. Seven of Swords. Eight of Cups. Four of Wands. Page of Wands. And the Three of Swords. Yeah, what's this? Seven of Coin. Was it? Yeah, borrowed. It's like a borrowed thing, basically. That's kind of what I'm seeing. Uh, was she not meant to be wearing it? There's a weird energy here with this card. Yeah, I think it very much was the wedding dress. And look at them there outside here. Look at the white and everything on this one. Yeah, I mean, it could be. Could It could very well be, you know, altered a little bit, you know, pins and, you know, cutting it up and whatnot. Possibly the wedding dress. Okay, let's say it's possible. What would the reason be for her choosing to wear the wedding dress? on in this particular occasion because that seems like it's sending out a message to me uh you know to, we talked about divorce just before uh and also i know serena or maybe or and or venus were there as well maybe that's you know is that like a sort of a statement to them you know what i mean like i got the prince you know what i mean you may have got the redditor but i got the prince <laughs> that's i'm saying that because uh if any of you know what redditor reddit is uh, Serena Williams, I believe, is married to the founder of Reddit, I think, is that right? Correct me if I'm wrong in the audience, but in any event, a prince trumps the Redditor. Cards are hot. Was it a statement? The chariot. The king of... The king, the emperor, the king of pentacles interesting card seven of cups six of wands eight of swords you know it is interesting because this this card doesn't actually speak very favorably of megan's true position in, in wearing this dress because it speaks of you know restriction and uh, under a lot of pressure and you know not a lot of options and i wonder if this is because things are on the rocks with has but uh, it seems that, you know, she's trying to make a statement here and a statement at the show, you know, about the, obviously the,
it's kind of like a look at me, the wealth. It's a very kind of out there, bold move to do. This, to me, very much looks like a statement, in fact, actually. Uh, the Emperor is an interesting card. Second time we've seen this today. It's like a, a statement of her fundamental sort of... What's the word I'm looking for? Like, social status, her, her authority. It's not like... She's not saying, I'm a royal, I'm a royal, but it's more sort of, you know, my the concreteness or the sort of how rock-solid her status is, you know, in, in her mind, I guess. Uh, it's something on those lines, I would say. A bit of gaslighting energy coming in here really strongly. And uh, that's the last time I take some ginseng before the show, I tell you that. That's uh, my throat's on... <laughs> my throat's on, like, turbo mode right now. What's going on? Yeah, so... It's it's not the last time I take ginseng before the show. I just have to uh, be more mindful of how I take it, I think. So... It's uh, interesting. It's an interesting thing. What do you? What are your? What is your? The question I want to ask you on today. What's your take on the wedding dress being worn? I really want to see what you guys think of this because it's an interesting facet that I don't think a lot of people are talking about. So go ahead and throw that in the comments, and I will see you there. <laughs> 